So today I want to take a look at this item that I received recently by Pampered Chef. It's called their Veggie Wedger. I volunteer for a small dog rescue and uh, they were having a fundraiser selling some of these products and so one of them that I one of the items that I did buy is this veggie wedger and I do have to say I was extremely impressed with the construction when I look at something I like to see how well it's constructed and designed and this thing is excellent so as you would assume it's in two pieces you have the cutting head and then the base unit. All right, let's take a look at the base unit first. You can see it's concave to allow the um, fruit or vegetable that you put in there to set. Got these index recesses that the slicer head uh, goes down into and really nice it's got this silicone base so that it doesn't move when you're using it now let's look at the cutting head the two sides that you would hold to push down on have uh, silicone padding on them it's very nice here's your two index sides that uh, slide into the base and then you have the cutting blades now these things are really stout now if you go to push on them they don't flex Here you can see a close-up of the blades from the cutting side. Now let's check the thickness of those blades. That's pretty stout. 31 thousandths. And to give you an idea, here's thirty one thousandths and it should go without saying you want to be very careful cleaning this unit do not want to get your fingers near them blades okay now another thing you have to consider is the diameter of that opening so if you've got something bigger than about three and a quarter inches it will not fit in here So let's give this thing a try and as I stated whatever you're putting in here cannot be bigger than the diameter that I previously stated of three and a quarter inches now I'm doing this behind the camera so if I didn't have the camera in front of me it would have been a little easier to push down because I'm back a ways but that worked out very good and as you can see look at that and this is nice because now I can take I can have these pre-cut put them in a container an airtight container and then for lunch or whatever I can eat these smaller pieces it's easier to eat something like this than the whole piece and if you want to put them in some kind of a salad or something you have these nice and sliced did a really good job now we'll try a lemon and again I'm behind the camera so I'm not really pushing down like I should be but it did a great job an orange
Doesn't that look delicious? Next, let's do an onion. All right, let's give this potato a try. And again, I'm standing behind the camera, so if I was closer, I'm probably a good foot and a half away because I got the camera and the tripod. So it's not as easy to do this, but well, there you go. Worked out pretty good. Some of it's on the floor. These are nice. You can put these on the grill just like this. All right, <clears throat> so next let's try this tomato. Now that was sweet. I love tomatoes, and this is a good way to put them in salads. And so when I clean this, what I do is I just put it in a dish pan, hot soapy water, and let it soak for just a little bit, and then just run it underneath running water and I make sure there's nothing on the blade because it goes without saying you don't want to get your fingers next to those blades. Wipe it down as much as I can staying away from the blades and I'll let it uh, air dry like that. I also want to state, which I didn't state earlier, it's got that nice point on that initial blade which gives you a nice lead in to when you push it down further into your vegetable or fruit. I give this veggie wedger from Pampered Chef an A+.